Hello, I'm Ranger Amy Washuda from Big Cypress National Preserve. Big Cypress. The word big in the title refers not to the size of any one tree, but to the vast expanse of cypress forests present in the preserve. In fact, about one third of our preserve is covered by cypress trees. If we step back in time to the late 1800s, we would have found stands of enormous monster cypress trees, many of which would have been hundreds of years old. But in the early 1900s, almost all of the giant trees were logged from this area, hauled out by the train load for their valuable wood. But today in Big Cypress, our trees stand safe, never again to be used for stadium seats, gutters, or boat hulls. Looking out across the horizon as you drive through Big Cypress, dwarf cypress trees dot the vast prairies, conjuring up images of the great savannas of Africa. And as you take a closer look at some of these trees in the distance, you may notice that they are not all the same height. Rather, some groups of trees resemble little hills. These are known as cypress domes. Though they look like hills, cypress domes are actually located in depressions in the limestone bedrock. They appear as domes because cypress trees grow taller and bigger in the deep, rich soils and ample water that accumulates in the depressions than they do in the shallow and poor soils of the prairies surrounding the domes. Sometimes a cypress dome can look more like a donut because there are no trees in the center. The center of a cypress dome can be too deep even for cypress trees. But these open areas are great places to find wildlife such as water birds or alligators. Tall cypress trees are also found in linear features known as strands, where shallow streams or ancient rivers carved long channels or depressions in the limestone, creating areas of deeper water and soil, perfect for growing large cypress trees. The cypress tree itself tells a unique story of survival. They are cousins of the towering redwood and sequoia trees of the west. And all of these trees are part of an ancient lineage of trees that have survived since times when dinosaurs roamed the earth. The cypress tree is beautifully adapted to life in the wet swamps where most other trees would perish. If you visit Big Cypress National Preserve in the winter months, you may notice brown needles on the tops of the cypress trees. But these trees are not dead. They are deciduous and they lose their leaves each winter. This is why they are called bald cypress. They wait till the spring when conditions are better to grow new bright green leaves for the summer. Perhaps the most striking feature of the cypress tree is its wide expanded base with folds like a draping curtain. This is known as a buttress and serves to hold the tree anchored and stable as it stands in wet soils, especially during hurricanes. And you don't have to spend a long time in a cypress swamp to notice bizarre wooden structures sticking up out of the water. These are part of the root system of the cypress tree and are known as knees. In addition to their unique features, cypress trees are important to all life in the swamp. Their rough textured bark provides a home for countless epiphytes, including bromeliads and orchids, and provides a nest material for big cypress fox squirrels. Cypress trees are full of mystery and wonder and are part of what make Big Cypress National Preserve such a special place. So come out and visit us and experience the cypress swamps for yourself. <laughs>